Hello everyone, welcome to Eagle Platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the voltage margin method. We have already uh, talked about the current margin method and there was uh, some problem related with that. So I will talk about now the voltage margin, how we rectify that problem. So we will talk one by one. So let's start with the, some of the points which I have included for this the voltage margin uh, method for your better understanding. So let's start. So uh, this is the first point is actually specifying that uh, as in the current margin method that was uh, that was I was so actually uh, pointing out related with the current margin method. The current margin method the change in the voltage setting terminal requires the operation of the tap changer now the tape that is the tap changer okay so tap changer in the converter transformer actually the tap changer having the different types of uh, different uh, uh, wind uh, you can say the turns okay turns and having the tapping system so tapping will uh, formulate the different value of inductance or resistance whatever we are actually using there so in the that is all in the converter stations and that is actually used to modify the voltage margin. So I can say the current margin method, there was a change in the voltage setting terminal and that is here, that is a change in the voltage setting terminal and which requires the operation of the tap changer in the converter station. Now, which is actually used in the, the modification of the voltage margin. This can be slow, okay. If we are actually adopting the tape changer, uh, tap changer, so that is actually kind of slow and which results in the less of flexible control to deal with the mode shift now and improvement has been suggested and improvement has been suggested by using the modified control scheme and which termed as the voltage margin control method voltage margin control method in this uh, method all the converter stations the rectifier and the inverter all the converter stations are provided with the automatic voltage regulator that is uh, generally we call it the AVR and which is along with the automatic current regulator that is the ACR so we are using uh, both of them that is one is the AVR that is the automatic voltage regulator another is the ACR that is automatic current regulator so this is all about when all the converter stations are actually used in this method. Now, in the voltage setting terminal, VST that we have generally told about that, and the, uh, here the AVR reference voltage is set to rated voltage, and in other stations AVR reference voltage is set at higher by an delta A. That is delta E value. So I can say the volt in the voltage setting terminal, as we have talked about that, the AVR reference voltage is kind of the two uh, two way. So AVR uh, uh, reference voltage is said to be rated voltage. Uh, if you talk about the one terminal station or one uh, converter station, and if we talk about the uh, other converter station, it is going to be at set at the higher value, and there will be a difference uh, dif from the you can say the rated value that will be the delta e and that is actually shown here okay now and uh, i can show you with this diagram that is the delta e value here okay and that is uh, shown here so this is actually a change you can say there now the operation of the control or technique as shown in the diagram represents the control characteristics for the empty for empty DC system with the two rectifiers and the two inverters that is the two rectifiers and the two inverters so that is the diagram which is shown here there are two rectifiers and the two inverters the operation with the voltage margin control method the first is saying that the VST is equal to INV1 and another is the VST is equal to um, REC1 VCT is the voltage uh, setting terminal and that is uh, written here voltage setting terminal this is so that is kind of the VST we are generally using now when the voltage setting terminal is shifted from INV2 to R, REC1 
and the voltage margin delta E that is so uh, we have so seen there that is the delta E is added to a difference values in the INV2 and subtract from REC1 that is INV2 okay that is INV2 you can say and this is the IE1 so that is actually subtracted that is the delta E here that is the delta E here okay so from the REC1 REC1 when when it is actually shifted from INV2 to REC1 so when we are going to shift the voltage setting terminal VST from where to where INV2 REC1 so that is the INV uh, that is the INV2 INV2 to RC1 so when we are going to change that so there will be a change in the reference that is the delta E change will be seen there no the voltage margin control method is also not free from the requirements of the centralized control and the fast communication as we were using in the current margin method the same way we are also using and it will also consist the requirements it will also it will also have you can say the requirements of the centralized control and the fast communications now in order to facilitate the operation of the MTDC system, MTDC system, that is multi-terminal direct current system, even when there is a failure of the communication system, when there will be the uh, communication failure uh, due to the some disturbance, the following modifications of the two basic current margin method, uh, method of uh, that is of control have been suggested. So we are having the three uh, different. Uh, things or uh, different types or you can say the different suggestions are given here the first is the voltage limiting control okay second is the use of the decentralized current reference balancer that is the dcrb and the second is a two automatic control regulator method so this is all about uh, your uh, uh, the related points with the voltage margin method and this is the basic graph REC1 when it is changed from the REC1 to REC2, INV2, RC, no, RC1. So likewise it is it will have the some uh, error or the some difference that is the delta E value. So I hope you have understood all the points which I have included here. Thank you so much.